Hello, this is Gabriel Roberts from Roberts Bushcraft. Today I'm going to be restoring a cast iron skillet. This is, I basically found this buried. All I saw was the handle sticking up. I've been out at my grandma's house, a barn. We've been clearing out a bunch of old metal stuff. It collapsed a couple of years ago. And I saw this handle sticking out of the ground. You know how the end of a cast iron skillet looks. And I saw that. And I grabbed it and I started pulling it up. And out comes some dirt with it and some ground. And I pulled it right out of the ground. So I thought it was really neat. And I figured why not go ahead and fix that up. And it's not too far gone, actually, to be buried for a while. It's actually not too bad. So let's go ahead over to the table or to the counter space. And we'll show you what we're dealing with here. So we're over here at the counter space. And as you can tell, this is just a cast iron skillet. Here's the back. I scraped this away with a file, just the front edge of it. Number eight, 10 and 5 eighths inch. It's a very nice cast iron skillet. Got some good weight to it. And basically, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is just flaking away. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Really nasty. And we're going to fix it up. Now, tools we'll be using during this. Set this out of the way. We are going to be using... This big old pan, I bought this at Food Line. I use a steel brush. And we're gonna be using some vinegar. I got two gallons of vinegar with me. These gloves, they come from Harbor Freight and they go all the way up your arm. So now that we've gotten that coated in apple cider vinegar, I was actually thinking about, I'm going to set it like this actually. I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. Set that to the side. Push this a little more on the counter. And there you go. Now we're going to leave that in there for, of course I'm going to do uh, daily checkups with you. Daily checkups with this thing, um, just so you can see how it's coming along day by day. But this thing will probably be in there the whole week. So I've had this cast iron pan sitting in this vinegar for two days now. I didn't actually update you on the first day in there because honestly, there's no point to. The vinegar really doesn't start working good until it hits about the two day mark. And just so you know it's working, check out the scene that we came out to the shop to tonight. So. Went on down and around. Yep, all kinds of foamed up. Oh yeah, and if I didn't mention earlier in the video, I found all this mess down at my granddad's shed. He passed away a couple of years ago and there's a bunch of this stuff just sitting out there. And actually, like I said, this cast iron skillet was buried basically. And I saw the handle sticking up. So now this will be the <laughs> That is nuts. This will be the first time. Here's a garden pick right here. And that was really rusted up too. Oh, hang on. Okay, let's get you set up. Here's the pan. All that air. You can actually see this rust is starting to come off right here. See this nice dark spots? Look at that, that's nice. Rust is definitely see a contrast. Definitely see a contrast between this and this. You see, the rust is just coming right off. If you check them out here, right here. Oh yeah. See that metal is getting exposed. And see that rust is just wiping right off right there. So that's what's going on with a lot of this down here on the inside. I'm actually gonna set it up this way this time I tried to get some vinegar inside of here. I don't know if what I did actually worked there or not. It looks like it's deep enough. So there you go. Now when it reaches this kind of point, you can go in there. Oh, check out the handle up here. 
This is getting back down to the bare metal. This is really coming along nice. Now, when you get it down to this state, you can go at it with a brush if you want to. It'd be it'd be beneficial to do it here. It looks yep. like get that old seasoning off. And most of that black, that darkness you're seeing all up in here is really just from this old seasoning. You're just scraping it off and it's just kind of dragging some residue with it. Now, the important thing here, if you don't get that old seasoning off, you're going to have an uneven, well, basically all the rust isn't going to come off and you're going to have an uneven restoration, is basically what I'm trying to say, with this uh, vinegar. It's not going to all get work going evenly. So you want to make sure you have all that old seasoning off. Now it's been soaking for a couple of days in vinegar. It has kind of loosened it up a little bit. It comes you, off really easy. You can see okay. some of this rust along the side. It's um, it was we scraped off some of that seasoning, and as you can see, completely rusted. Well, somewhat rusted right there. The vinegar has not even penetrated through that seasoning yet. So this is really why you need to scrape that old seasoning off because you might end up with a rusted pan when it's all done at some spots obviously if you've left it in vinegar it's not going to be a big chunk of this thing still rusted but little spots like that are weak points you want to get this thing as clean as you can and as rust free as possible so make sure you scrape up that old seasoning and keep going alrighty so had this in the vinegar for another night I have flipped the pan over, or the skillet over, and you see it's all foamed up again. We're just gonna lift it up. And then I have a couple other pieces of metal in here. You see, that is just nice. Look at that, spare, lift it back up. Yep. Spare it's metal. Really right. stripping it down there. We're just gonna have to get that old season off, and after that, it's just. That's really all that's left to do right there. I'm gonna take this. Yep, that's bad metal right there. So this is day seven of this thing being in vinegar. And as you can see, it's kind of red. It's even bubbling up a little bit over here. You can see the bubbles popping. Yep. That's wild. So, all right, let's get around there. I'm scared to touch this. I don't know if I'm about to lose a finger or what. <laughs> <laughs> Vinegar is no joke, really. This is the way to look at that. Clean your cast iron. The inside. That's 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 nice. Do you remember how nasty that was? That was nasty. Let's look at the bottom. Look at that. You can see bare metal now. Lots of bare metal. Man, that's awesome. I'm trying to get all that foam out of it. Oh, yeah. You can really see the bottom of the pan now. That's... Okay. All the rust is off now. Or it appears to be off. Look at that. See, the rest of that stuff in there is... I don't, I don't really think it's rust. I just think it's just where it's gotten a little darker. It, well, Well, there's a natural patina being put on the metal but what some of these dark spots may be old rust, yeah, old rust. and old seasoning that's one yes yeah, these used saying. to come or well, they still come from the factory that's seasoning i don't know uh, oh yeah uh, like that's that. just coming a little, right off that's just a little uh, extra mess left on there okay so we're gonna clean this up off camera and again this is a no power tools restoration this is just letting it soak in vinegar and hitting it with that wire brush a little bit you saw around the side actually here you go you can see it right here on the side up here it's got some dark spots just real lightly over it with this wire brush we'll knock that stuff right off now, you can see a 
Oh yeah. There you go. Now, a little more seasoning left on there. So, it's very easy to tell where the seasoning is now. Now, we're going to go to town on that seasoning. Check out the inside. Very nice. All right. I'm just kind of going to go all around real quick just to make sure nothing else is loose. So, it is now time to coat the cast iron in vegetable oil or canola oil. We just happen to be using some canola oil, which is what we had in the cabinet. Vegetable oil works just fine, though. We're going to coat this pan, a skillet in a very light coat of oil. Gonna really waiting on the grill right now to get up to about 400, 450, somewhere in there. And, um, and then... We will put the skillet in. All right, now we'll do the back, or the bottom. Get another real quick. What I like to do is just put a little crop of oil on there and then just go from there all around. Using charcoal and hardwood in there today. And we're right around 425. Alright, the only thing we got left now is the handle. A little bit on there. Set that on the side. You really want to make sure you get, <clears throat> get that handle nice and good. All down, all around it. <clears throat> all right. Well, as you can see, it's already starting to look nice and black. That's just one coat so far. All right. Well, there you go. We'll make sure to put that <laughs> handle a little better this next time. Look at that. Yeah. That's nice looking. All right. Let's coat her and get her back in there. Yep. There you go. Just to get them sides nice and coated. And as you can see, the smoke from the grill. Reading us. Oh, it's smoke. Okay. At this rate, I'm thinking maybe one or two more treatments of this, or one or two more seasonings, and it may be about done. There we go. Now we're trying. All right. Well, that's probably good for uh, yeah to start with anyway. No, remember you want to apply this in thin coats so it gets baked on evenly and not just a big hunk of seasoning in one spot. That would be kind of weird looking, a little nasty too. And you don't want to let this metal cool down too much. You want to go ahead and get it on while it's still hot. Right around there too. Yep. Make sure to get the handle good too. Back into the oven it goes. So you've seen the second coat. I just took this out of the grill, put a third coat on, and here it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rolling that smoke, but she's starting to turn black. Oh yeah, another thing, guys, if your wife, sons, if your mom's home, do not do this in the house. <laughs> this is definitely a thing you need to do outside for when she is not home. <laughs> because this will cause the, a lot of yes, this by itself 
with the heat will smoke and it'll smoke your house up so it's really best to do it on the grill if you can so let's go ahead and close that up and keep the heat in and well it is worth mentioning you can do this in an oven as well yeah it but it like like we said causes a lot of smoke so it's better to do it outside so all right well uh it's right at uh 1 12 40 right now so we'll be back out here about uh 1 40 or so and we'll put on another coat so after four coats of canola oil, I have achieved the look that I'm going for. Nice and dark, I just need to wipe it out on the inside and the outside. Get all that wood ash off, get the, uh, just a little extra stuff sitting there off. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. That's a nice dark cast iron skillet and I like that. Really the best way to test it now is fry up an egg and see if your uh, coating is non-stick. Now we have this skillet set on medium heat and it is very hot, you can feel. I mean, well you can't feel, I can feel. It's very hot. We're gonna do a little butter test. Stick of butter here. Just right there. We are gonna do some a dinner in this tonight. And I was trying not to crack it all down the side. There you go. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. So the idea here is to see if we get any stick so as you move your spatula up under the egg it should not stick if we've got the seasoning right it does not look at that nope it does not let's try it nope now you want to uh, flip it Come on. There we go. This is homemade cornbread. Just kind of spreading the cornbread mix out here. Make it kind of even. All right, into the oven it goes. We're gonna clean the skillet out real quick. As you can see, 
We did a very, very successful job with the seasoning. Non-stick. You can see all this is just coming right off. That's exactly what you want. I'm just going to dump these extras right into this trash can. Final step in this process, take a napkin, coat it in the wool for storage. Actually, I do this every time. All you have to do is just put a little drop in there like that and just move it all around. And you just want to coat the whole inside of this pan. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Make sure to share this video. Please leave a comment. We love answering those, love reading them. They, uh, we learn a lot from the comments. We love telling what we know out in the comments. So if you have any questions, any uh, anything you'd like to say, make sure to go to the comment box. And uh, stay in tune. Uh, here in a little while, we're gonna have the restoration of the ax head video coming up. So make sure to watch that. This is the best method we know to restore cast iron. You don't need a grinder. You don't need really that much elbow grease. You really just let the vinegar do the work and then a little bit of brush work, season it up, and many long years of great food. So, thank you, and as always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. And God bless. Merry Christmas.